Welcome back to Mouster House Campers folks. This is Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. So today for my regular subscribers, you will notice a bit of a difference after investing in a new microphone and this bad boy, Dennis the Drone. So the first part of the video, Dennis is going to be doing a circular flyover. We'll do a circular motion and video. Then we'll be followed by my normal in-depth review. And then Dennis again will be flying in the sky and doing a drive-by shot, followed by a bit of wrap-up information. Of course, I will be giving you tips and buying advice in the normal in-depth review. Any comments would be welcome down below. And if you click that subscribe button, you'll be notified of any new videos to come. Over to Dennis. So welcome to the in-depth review part of this video. So today's review is all about a 2004 Timberland Freedom 2. Based on the Fiat Ducato 2.8 turbo diesel long wheelbase chassis. And this particular one is top of the range. So just doing a slow walk around first. So the Timberland part, the leisure part of this motorhome, or camper rather, is the top of the range as well as the base vehicle. So the base vehicle benefits from alloy wheels, power steering, electric windows, electric mirrors, it wants for nothing. And of course the 2.8 big power plant. I've had the pleasure of actually driving this particular one 200 miles. I went away in it myself last month, stayed out overnight. Very nice indeed. Timberland have been going for 20 years. They started in 1999 in Chesterfield, still going strong and building some of the more expensive camper vans in the le leisure industry. Basically they started with a top of the range vehicle and went with all the bits and bobs and gadgets that they could cram into such a vehicle. Built in relatively low numbers for the leisure industry. But when you step inside and see all the gadgets, you'll know why. It was taking them too long to make this particular vehicle. So there was not too many of them made. They are out there, but quite rare now. It's got all the usual 
bits and bobs. So you've got the Truma exhaust valve for the hot water on gas, fresh water inlet and 240 hookup for mains. It's got remote central locking. Alloy wheels, front fog lights, colour coded bumpers and mirrors. You've got the two inlets there for your fresh water tank and your grey waste water. You access the gas bottle and the toilet cassette via opening the rear doors. I'll just demonstrate this. So there's your colour gas bottle, there's actually room for two. And that's the wheel brace and jack. Under here is your industry standard Fetford cassette. Just one lever down there and that pulls out. And we swivel that for the toilet flush. The good old rhyme, the campers rhyme. Pink for the stink and blue for the loo. So pink fluid for the flush and blue loo, blue for the loo rather. Getting mixed up with me blue and loo there. Okay, so we've got two tables. Really well designed. So a small table there that fits in, as well as we've got the bracket there that fits in for the larger table. Again, the finishing by the Timberland upholstery is second to none. Yeah, I would say the upholstery is on a par with the Auto Sleeper, which is you know, my regular subscribers will know are one of my favourite converters. So in the rear, it's got the original Timberland mats over the shower tray. So you've got the kitchen sink, or rather the toilet sink. I'll just switch the water on. So we're just leisure battery there, the water pump there. This doubles up as the shower. Mix the tap, hot and cold water. And that pops out to create a shower. That folds in nice and easy, folks. Little clip there, and that holds it up. And of course, area for the toilet. Flush, toilet roll holder. Plenty of lights, really nicely designed. Even extractor fan on the ceiling. So we've got an electric extractor fan there. Wardrobe, we'll access that from the inside shortly. Fiorma two bike carry. We'll just have a quick look under the bonnet at that 2.8 turbo diesel engine. Electric windows, four way electric mirrors, power steering, cruise control, everything's working. Remote central locking with alarm. Both driver's and passenger seat swivel. So we'll just walk round. So there it is, the 2.8. To say that's enough brake horsepower is an understatement. Absolutely fabulous power plant. Really on top of the job. Outside light and awning and wait for it 
electric awning. So all we do is pop our hand around the corner here. Oh, look at that folks. Electrically operated awning. Sounds like it might want a grease and a benefit from a bit of WD-40. But as you can quite clearly see, that's fully functioning and not ripped at all. And we just pop that back where it belongs. Timberland went all the way with the upholstery, all factory fitted over mats with the Timberland, Timberland emblem on. Electric step. Let's step inside. She's fabulous. A rear lap belt there. So there's two parts that pops out there and you can put a, one of the tables on there. We'll just close that side door. She's beautiful. I wasn't exaggerating when I said Timberland a second to none on the upholstery and build quality. Everything was done top of the range, all the details thought about. So not only does it have, of course, the engine battery, it has not one but two leisure batteries, one under the driver's seat, which again is Captain Swivel, and one under the passenger seat. So two leisure batteries. It's designed to have a large double bed, so the side sofa slides out, that forms together, and that creates a large double bed. Of course, you can pull this out and you've got extra room in the bed, but that doesn't part, form part of the bed. So you just end up with a large double bed. Of course, the captain's seat there can swivel around and create extra leg room. So we've got the control panel here. Coming round to the kitchen area. Complete full kitchen and complete full oven. Nice blue flame. You will hear me harping on about blue flames. I am quite good on my safety. Anything other than a blue flame, it wants switching off. A clean at the best or at the worst of service. So that's what we're looking for is clean blue flames. There we go. Fly nets and blackout blinds throughout. Nice secure fixings. Kitchen sink, hot and cold mixer. Even a fitted microwave. Oh, the last owner's gone to the trouble of fitting some mats. He's gone to the trouble yet. Yeah, it's been looked after. Okay, nice blinds and fly nets to all the screens. That's a TV booster signal. Plenty of luggage space. Now this particular one, the last owner's left the blackout blinds for the front, so it's got winter blinds. Plenty of lighting. Yep, I don't think you'll be in the dark in this one. 
So we've got the control panel for the solar. We've got the Truma Ultra Store, so that's to heat the green lights on there. That's to heat the hot water on gas. You've also got the mains to function to if, when it's plugged in to heat the hot water on mains. You've got the 12 volt and 240 compressor type fridge freezer. Got the freezer compartment there. Plenty of room in that fridge. And there's the control panel for the electrics. So that was the can switch for the outside awning. The step, extra 12 volt supply, mains supply, outside lights. Once for the outside light. And can you just see for extra reading lights? And lo and behold, it's even got an electric skylight. Tip top, top of the range. Matching scatter cushions. And we'll just access the wardrobe. And this particular one, I think the last owner has travelled to some destinations on different adventures. I wonder where it'll go next. So yes, a very nice indeed mid-size camper van. On this particular one, it's got the nice later style screens. So we just click them into there with a magnet. Again, that clips into place. And the front is the same. These just pop out on these clips and that creates this. So there's no need for curtains at the front. But of course, Timberland, being Timberland, do everything twice. So they've even got the facility of blocking this area off with a set of curtains and then just quite simply fold in nicely into there so yes just be careful folks when purchasing a second hand motorhome or camper van you will hear me droning on I'm afraid you're gonna have to forgive that awful pun of drone the Dennis about the scams out there the most popular one at the moment being the vehicle that does not exist so people are out there unscrupulous people are copying and pasting somebody else's pictures and vehicle details advertising it at a very low price too good to be true in fact and all they're doing is collecting deposits for a vehicle that does not exist but I've heard, I know for a fact it's happened, because it happened to one of my camper vans a few years back, that some people have paid in full. So in other words, vehicles that have been advertised, say, with an expected market price of £20,000, have been advertised for £5,000. And I do know of people who have been giddy with excitement, thinking they're going to buy something that's so cheap, have paid the £5,000 in full, via an online transfer and have never seen their vehicle or money ever again. So always make sure you see the vehicle before you hand over your hard earned money. Speak to somebody. It always sets alarm bells off if there's only an email and all the communication is done by email or text. Always speak to somebody. You can't ask too many questions. A lot of the camper vans have got the hidden number plates. And there's another tip, always get the number plate and check the MOT history. It's free of charge these days. It's all on the DVLA VOSA website. Just get the registration number and that'll give you the past MOT history. So any advisories, failures, also the mileage to make sure all the mileage stacks up correctly. And then it's just the usual things to check. 
checking the whir and tear on the wheels to make sure and the pedals to make sure that marries up and matches the advertised mileage little things like that always better to be twice sure and check over first so we'll just do a little walk around the outside and I'm sure you'll agree that Timberland have done a brilliant job of making a camper van So this is a 2004 Fiat Ducato which has been converted by Timberland Motorhomes from brand spanking new which is quite important so just a little uh, piece of advice on homemade or converted aftermarket camper vans uh, nothing it, it can work out but it's a lot more difficult than people think so just a thing to be aware of a second hand van is always going to be a van if it's being converted to a high standard you can get the logbook changed but the insurance company generally will have to see the vehicle and inspect it and you will always end up with higher insurance premiums and a lower residual value so they're not as cheap as people think my way of thinking is buy a proper safe camper van in the first place. It will hold its money, it's safe, cheaper to insure. If you think the average vehicle has 10,000 moving parts and then an amateur can then start, well, messing, playing at worst with gas and electricity. So this is the reason why people buy them, think they're cheap, take them home then ring up the insurance company and find they are very expensive to insure or they have to be inspected insurance companies are coming away from self-build and aftermarket camper vans now for that reason so just be safe just one thing to be careful of there so thanks for listening to this part of the video and the drone will take it from here with a little drive past and fly by
So thanks for watching again folks. Hopefully my regular subscribers have noticed a bit of difference. With Dennis here doing some filming and it er shots. So if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified of any of the new videos coming forward with some buying advice and new camper vans. Also, your comments are welcome down below. Thanks for watching.